Hey everybody, God bless you. Have you been checking your fruit today? I'm traveling Ohio and I'm checking my fruit today. What fruit are we talking about? The fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit, and we're talking about the Holy Spirit in you. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. In the fact that Christ gave us a new commandment in John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Verse 35 says, men will know that you are my disciples by the love that you have for one another. I like Matthew 12, 33 says, either make a tree good and its fruit good, or make a tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. And I always ask that question too, what are you known by? And it's interesting, as, as it's important that you be known by the good fruit, because I was talking to a co-worker who didn't believe in God and was told by a believer, at least that's what the person told me, that a believer told them, that, or that person, that they're going to hell and that they're evil. And I sit there and said, wow, that's interesting. They, called, they told you you're evil. And they told you it was going to hell. And I said, I think what they was trying to tell you, and I, and I apologize if somebody told you that you're evil, because that's that's not what you should describe anybody. Because it seems like you're bearing some real good fruit characteristics that uh, we believe the Holy Spirit allows Christians to have manifested in them on a consistent basis. It's the fact that you must be born again. That's what we believe in. And the person, they believe in reincarnation. I said, well, if you believe in reincarnation, who determines whether you move up a level or go down a level? Because it's, you don't make that decision. That means something else makes that decision. And we believe that all decisions, whether you're going up all the way to heaven or going down, is God Almighty. So we believe that we must be born again to be reconnected to God so that when we do leave this world, then we go up because Christ died for our sins and our transgressions. Because we don't believe we can get it right. And I don't believe you can get it right. And I don't know how you think you can get it right. But you can keep trying. But I believe you should get born again. And I, I also remind you of these scriptures found in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we don't war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting an imagination, and every high thing exalt itself against the knowledge of God. And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. In verse 6, and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. I was looking at the fact is that we're not calling people evil. We got to first make sure we correct our disobedience first. Amen? Before we start trying to go after somebody else. So check your fruit. Love one another. Love and preach the gospel and love. Amen? Check your fruit today. Minister that gospel.